What's going on everyone? I'm Will Button. This is DevOps for Developers. And in this video, we're talking about can sysadmins even do DevOps? Like, is that even allowed? Because it's not like I can walk up to you and say, hey, you need that appendix out? Because I'm pretty good with Google. Your answer should be, no, Will. That's not okay. So I'm wondering, does the same thing hold true for things like DevOps? Like are sysadmins even allowed to do DevOps? Or do you need like a doctorate in DevOps degree or have to be a card carrying member of the church of DevOpsology? Well, you know, I think it's pretty obvious that the answer is no, but I actually do have a point with this video so let's roll that kick-ass intro music, and then we'll talk about the roles that exist within the DevOps ecosphere. I want to start with this graphic called the Shades of DevOps from Patrick Dubois. And, you know, personally, I would have called it 50 Shades of DevOps, but it's his graphic, so he gets to name it whatever he wants. And he's probably a bit more politically correct than I am. So he probably made the right choice in naming that, but I'm just saying. 50 Shades of DevOps would be pretty funny. But this lists all the roles that are in the DevOps space. And now some of these you were probably expecting like DevOps engineer or DevOps architect. But look at all of these other roles that exist within DevOps. And we have some pretty boring titles in here to be honest, like software engineer, or Agile Coach, or Sysadmin, even Application Support. And I love the way that he's plotted this out because on the y-axis of this chart, we have the buzzword hipness. And it's way down here at the bottom on the low end of the y-axis where we have all of these boring job titles. But boring is okay. And as a matter of fact, it might even be your friend because it's down here on the bottom in these boring titles where you might find the way to get those DevOps skills that you want to take your career to the next level. Because the barrier to getting into DevOps is kind of steep. A lot of companies, whenever they're hiring someone specifically with the title DevOps, they're looking for someone who's experienced in that area. And they're looking for someone to lead the transition or the transformation for their company. So if you don't have that experience, you kind of get glossed over whenever it's in the recruiting process. And so that's why I like these boring titles at the bottom, because you can get a job as IT support or sysadmin or full stack engineer or developer. That's the thing about DevOps is DevOps is not who does the DevOps stuff. It's how we do it. And so you can implement DevOps practices and build DevOps skills while having one of those other job titles. And then at some point in your career, whenever you're ready to advance, you now have the skills necessary to show that you can lead a company through that transformation process and get the title that is meaningful to you. Because here's the thing, DevOps problems exist whether you have a DevOps team or not. And if you don't have a DevOps team, well, guess who's responsible for doing the DevOps work? If you said everyone else who is there, you're absolutely right. Thanks for playing along. We've got some lovely parting gifts for you on today's show. Will, tell them what they've won. Sure thing, Will. They've won a free copy of the DevOps Roadmap for 2022. This roadmap is the Choose Your Own Adventure Guide to Building DevOps Skills. Using this guide, you can start with any topic, learn about it, and then see how it relates to the other areas of DevOps and decide which one of those topics is the best fit for your learning path. 
Download your free copy at devopsfordevelopers.io slash roadmap. That's fantastic. Thanks, Will. So that's the big magic here. Whether you are trying to build DevOps skills just to make your own job better, or you're trying to build DevOps skills to land a better, higher paying job, the big magic here is that DevOps happens regardless, and it's not who gets the code to production, it's how we get the code to production. So you can implement DevOps practices regardless of your current title or the purpose of gaining those skills. Now, if you wanna encourage me to do more dumb jokes in these videos, be sure and hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. And I think next you would really enjoy the video on the difference between DevOps and SRE. So I'll link that here and down below and I'll see you over in that video. I wanna start that. I wanna start by learning better English. I wanna start with this graphic called the 50, no. Is this thing recording? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Well, that's cool.